everybody. I'm not feeling the most enthusiastic today. I'm a little bit worse for wear today, to be honest. I'm a bit tired and a little bit hungover. We camped last night um, and I feel a bit rough. The first time I've had a beverage, you know, in a very long time. And we're just going to be doing some little bits and bobs on Vera today. Not much different from the last one, but obviously it was for to film it anyway. Well, Colin's actually straightened out the front end, which I'll show you because it looks sick. It actually looks like a proper car again now. So that's. Um, he's actually got a video on that, which will be out already by the time I've uploaded this. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'll go over to the car and I'll show you what I'm doing instead of just sat here on my arse as per usual. Here's the front end now. Colin's actually straightened out all of these. If you can remember before, obviously they were bent in um, from the crash. These have been straightened out. If I shut the bonnet, it lines up perfectly. So look how well it lines up. It's absolutely perfect. And they go straight in there. So obviously when the catchers are back on, it will work as normal. And he has also welded down here. So before we had some little um, holes of rust. They've all been welded, look at that, brand new. So that looks amazing. Oh shit, there we go. We're gonna do all of the door shuts and returns satin black as well. So obviously it's not green against purple. We're gonna sand that bonnet, put some filler on that bonnet because it's got a dent in it. Happy days. We've had this package arrive as well from Dorenza, which is a lovely set of lowering springs, which look absolutely ginormous if you compare them to anything else. But remember, this is the world's biggest car. Big set of springs. I'm going to be drinking a lot of water today. Honestly, I forgot what a hangover feels like. Not good. But I will say, Captain Morgan's fruity rum, very nice. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to scram. You work away. I'm going to Happy days. As soon as I've decided to eat though, I've now got a number one fan. What a surprise. Cheers. Just touching up the engine bay, just little bits where it just could do with another coat. And then this underside of the bonnet, that all needs to be like roughed up and then that's going to go satin black as well. That was where all the holes are. Wouldn't even have a clue now. But yeah, we've just got to tackle this now. And this bonnet is actually a bit of a dinger, I'm not going to lie. It's not, it's got a few dents in it, so there's a bit of filler work that needs to be done on that, but it's all going to get sanded down today. Boom! We've been considering if we go full max power, put mirrors there. Jeez! Kramer and I went to track a couple of years ago, and there was a, um, a Scooby that was like, he'd fully like lifted it off the floor, all four wheels off the floor, and like he just had loads of mirrors underneath it, and I was like, my guy. Sun's out, sweating my hangover out. Vera's looking beautiful, sanding away, painting away. Having a great time. Yeah, yeah, looks good that. I've lost my glamorous assistant to a truck. So I'm about to do some work by myself now. Look at this now. Jeez. Oh, shut up. Who cares about your shit exhaust? Hello? That's how I hear it. That's how I know he's at my house. If I know he's at my house because you just go, boo! That looks so much better, look. So all of these are now sat in black. And obviously the door shuts as well. Obviously that's just a bit of masking tape. There's a sticker under there. Sick. I don't know how well you can see it. I think it's quite hard to see. The reason we've done it is because um, obviously the car's going all purple and obviously we didn't want, obviously you can have your like shuts and returns wrapped but it's so hard, it's very time consuming and I'd rather just paint them satin black because obviously the rest of the car, it's not like this perfect paintwork underneath that we need to preserve or anything so just paint them satin black and then that should contrast really nicely against the purple. I'm absolutely lethal with a rattle can me. Uh, as soon as I get one in my hand, I just get so carried away. And that's why I ended up rattle canning the whole car last time. I started out just by like gloss, black, black, bleh, gloss blacking a few like bits of plastic. And then I just thought, fuck it, I'm going to do the whole car. Obviously we've painted the other side, you've seen what it kind of looks like. We've just got to do this side now. So 
you can see all my overspray on the grey, which does not look very good. I thought it was dirt, but it's not, it's just overspray. Um, so we're just gonna rough all this back, get it all nice and clean, go over it with some panel wipe, and then we'll start spraying these as well. Super cute, super fresh, super fun. So we just need to take the door card off, but Not held on really well, so oh no. There we go. <laughs> Scotch pad, Scotch pad paint, scuff paint, apply paint. Great job. This is the longest bit, like doing all this prep work, cleaning everything, sanding everything down, buffing everything up, getting rid of all the dirt and stuff. It's so long, but it'll be so worth it because it just makes everything look proper. Like I could quite easily just go in with a rattle can now and just rattle can it black and be done with it but it looks shit so it feels like I've been doing this forever just like sanding bodywork down and just painting little bits and thinking oh I'll make this look better, make, make that look better but all these little things that we're doing are going to make the whole car look a million dollars when it's done so million quid. When I say we're going into every last detail I mean we're going into every last detail so all the stickers that are in the door cards, well, the inside the doors, they're all being covered up, so they're not going to be painted over. This one was actually telling me that my um, airbag needed to be serviced in 2007. So I don't know if you can see down there. There you go. Couldn't tell you if it ever had been serviced, but I can tell you I found out the hard way that it still works, so that's okay. Uh, this is the last one now, so we've done that one. Have a look, look how fresh it looks. This is the last one. Uh, it's good fun this is, it's very like, look how satisfying it is when you spray it. So like, it's all crusty and horrible. And then we just... Obviously it looks a bit shit with the first coat on, but you get the idea. Hurts. Look how much better that just looks. It's gonna look so fresh. Epic. What about the boot, didn't we? I'm here, like, yep, we're done. Look, everything's looking great. What about the chuffing boot? So, obviously, I'm not gonna leave all this green as well. I'm going to the effort of satin black and everything and leaving all that green. It's a shame because I think that's the nicest conditioned paintwork on the whole car. Look at that. Still looks like it's out of the factory. Not a lot of orange peel there, but. 1997 weren't it? They didn't give a shit back then. We've just found some dusty remnants of something in there. Uh, it does not look very nice in there at all. So there's only a few screws holding it on. So if we go into all this effort, we're just going to pop this off, get all that shit out of there and make that look nice again because that is disgusting. God knows what we're going to find in there. I don't actually think I want to know. What do you think is going to be in there? I think at least three dead spiders. I reckon like a squirrel or something. A squirrel in there? <laughs> Like maybe no. the, maybe I the don't mouth. know how big squirrels are in Birmingham, but they're, <laughs> they're not they're... that small around here. Right, pull it off. Ah. Ugh. Ugh. I hope we've got the big gadgets out now. Portable hoovers here. Jeez! Oh no, what have we picked up? A piece of plastic. Oh, that is so satisfying. So that's what the boot looks like now. So it matches everything else. All satin and looking good. I can't believe how well satin black just covers like imperfections and just like, it just smooths everything and just makes it look so fresh. So obviously when the purple's against that, it's gonna look unreal. So we're currently 90%, <laughs> well, 90% of the car is covered in filler at the moment. I think there's only one panel that doesn't have any on and that is 
this wing. Oh, and that door as well, actually. So we've got two panels with nothing on. I don't think that's too bad going. I've just got a lump of it in my hand, don't know why. Um, yeah, so we just put a load of filler on, basically, to, to just finalise this bodywork, because I think it, today we want to get it done. Uh, we're sick of pissing about now, I think. Um, so as soon as this bodywork is smashed out and done, which we could hopefully have done by the end of today, then we could actually start wrapping. Um, you know, give it a good clean, a good degrease, make sure there's no like any spots where wrap could lift where it's dirty. And then it's go, go, go. It starts to really come together then, so I'm excited. Just a little bit more tinkering, a little bit more faffing about. We're nearly there. for the past few hours and we've basically just cracked on with it because we just thought we bought the car inside and we thought right let's just get on with it and we've pretty much done the majority of what we need to do. Primed all of the filler bits, we've sanded everything down, we've got fiberglass in the holes, there's a lot that's been going on obviously you'll see most of it from like the, the clips and the footage and stuff so I won't just blabber on for too long but just Perfecting tiny little bits now, and then we're ready to start wrapping. Which I'm excited about, but it's been long and it's been very tiring, and I'm going to sleep very well tonight. But it needed to be done, so I'm happy. Bye, Vera. See you next week. Bye.